Over the last couple years, I've been telling you guys how much I love playing team play. Well, I know there's a lot of you out there that also love playing team play. I know, you know, it's not the biggest feature in the game, but for the guys that do play team play, I know you're pretty hardcore. So today I'm going to show you my full scheme that I run out of the Kansas City Chiefs playbook with me and my lab partner, Rajon Frodo. It's very effective. As you can see here, we made a community called Road to the Top 100. We made it to number 33 with a record of 81 and 8, but unfortunately, as I'm sure a lot of you team play guys know, there was a glitch with EA where at one specific time, a bunch of communities got deleted, and unfortunately, uh, ours just happened to be one of them. So because we're not playing anymore, we just don't want to start over. I figured no better time to show some of you hardcore guys out there a really nice scheme that you can run, uh, especially with two people that's going to give your opponents major, major headaches. So I uh, hope you enjoy. So before we get into showing the scheme in action, we need to go over some very important details that make this scheme work. You know, team play can be very confusing, so you've got to be on the same page or else you just won't be very successful. So what we do is we have the team captain control the entire game by calling both offense and defense. And as I'm sure you already know, the captain calls the defensive plays, and when we play, I'm usually captain, so I'll call the defensive plays, and we'll both use the any option for defense. Now, for me to control the offense as well, as captain, I'm going to need to be the running back, and my teammate will be wide receiver. So you're probably asking yourself why neither of us is going to be quarterback, and well, the answer to that is quite simple, and there's a few reasons. The first is that if you ask anybody that plays team play, they're going to tell you that by far the toughest position to be is quarterback. It's difficult enough in head-to-head -head games playing QB worrying about just one user defender. In team play, having three user defenders that have really good stick skill, lurking your passes or rushing the passer and getting sacks and dropping into max coverage, it's just a total nightmare. Not to mention that team play just plays completely different than head-to-head -head games do. Now the next reason is that, um, you know, since there's only two of us, if I'm going to be quarterback and my teammate is wide receiver, then we're going to have the CPU controlling the running back, which is absolutely something that we do not want. The CPU is not going to gain any yards for us on the ground, so we need to be making sure that we're running the ball manually. It's just too much of a disadvantage for us not to. Uh, the two biggest reasons, though, is that with a computer-controlled quarterback and us both running routes manually, all we need to do is press the A button when we're open to call for the ball, and the computer-controlled quarterback will automatically throw us the ball. So if we're open, it's automatic yards. We don't need a user player uh, playing quarterback standing there making reads. You know, I'm making my own reads by calling for the ball if I'm open and by not calling for the ball if I'm not. And my teammates also making reads by doing the same thing. You know, it just really limits bad decisions and it benefits us big time by having two players essentially playing quarterback by calling for the ball and picking up yards when we're blatantly, you know, open. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've played quarterback with a user quarterback. I'm wide open and the ball just doesn't get thrown to me. You know, that's never going to happen this way. So that's one reason why I absolutely love it. Um, also, the reason why we use the New England Patriots is because Tom Brady, unlike any other quarterback in the game for team play, just make perfect reads to uh, computer-controlled players. So if my teammate or myself are not open, you know, Brady's never going to throw into, into coverage. It's like when you play the quarterback um, on CPU on All Madden. The quarterback's just throwing non-stop dots and never throwing anywhere near defenders, you know. We've used every team in the game, and even quarterbacks like Rodgers and Manning, they're going to throw bad passes that Tom Brady's just not going to throw. You know, you'll see in the gameplay footage exactly what I mean. We'll go over that again. Now, there is one disadvantage to having a computer-controlled quarterback, and that is that when we call for the ball downfield, it's always going to be this crazy-ass high lob pass. You know, even if we hold the A button like we would in a head-to-head -head game to throw a bullet pass, it's just always going to lob it. So running wide receiver streaks is really almost not an option because the ball is just going to hang in the air and most likely either be intercepted or at least batted down. This is why we only run, run routes uh, no more than 15 yards downfield for the most part. You know, any passes further than that can just be too risky. There's too much hang time for a defender to be able to make a play. So we we like to keep it within 15 yards. Uh, the final reason why we choose running back and wide receiver as our positions is so we can take advantage of a glitch that I found in team play that allows us to control three positions instead of two. 
which will also allow us to eliminate the problem that we have with having every pass being lobbed and never being able to go deep because of it. Now in this offense, we're always coming out in a five wide receiver set where we've substituted a running back, which is the position that I control, into the left slot in place of a wide receiver. Now despite having a running back on the field, it's actually going to have me controlling the quarterback by default in this five wide receiver set. But it also allows me to switch to the running back if I want to. Uh, this is a huge advantage offensively. Even if I stay clicked onto the quarterback, I can make hot routes for the running back still. You know, I can sit back and make my own personal reads on any given play if we want. Uh, you know, if I want to run smart routes um, to out routes, which are very effective. Auto rocket fade touchdowns that can't be done if we don't have a user controlled quarterback. Throwing bullet pass streaks or other bullet passes, you know, as well as giving us the opportunity to throw FL screen. You know, if you call FL screen and are just controlling the running back and put yourself on a swing route, it just doesn't work. You know, you're going to run into the quarterback while trying to get to the flats and the timing is just way off and the plays just always end in disaster. So being able to control the quarterback if I choose to, we can run FL screen to perfection. And we do have three plays out of that shotgun doubles weak formation. So it's definitely going to confuse our opponents. And this five wide receiver set also allows us to audible down to any of our five audibles. So if I want to remain quarterback and hot route my running back, I can do that. And if I want to click off to the um, off of the quarterback and run my own route as the running back, I can do that as well. So it just gives the defense complete headaches they never know what we're going to do and they really don't expect two users to essentially be able to control three positions so as i mentioned we're going to run this scheme out of the kansas city chiefs playbook so let's quickly go over the audibles the first three audibles are out of shotgun doubles week the first one is halfback wheel our second audible is fl screen our third audible is KCX spot. Again, all out of shotgun doubles week. Our fourth audible is going to be out of shotgun bunch, and that is KCY trail. And our fifth and final audible is our favorite play, which is out of shotgun snugs, and that play is called bench. That's the one that we use most often. It's our third down play for the most part, but we definitely run a hurry up offense and we mix up our play calling quite a bit. So there's the five audibles. Now let's uh, get to some of the gameplay footage here and we'll show you how we run it. Okay, so let's go over all the uh, adjustments that we're going to make on offense for this entire scheme. Uh, we're always going to come out in five wide receiver. The play is called Y Shake. Um, if we stay in five wide receiver, of course I'm going to be the quarterback. The first thing that I'm going to look for is how many linebackers are over the middle of the field because we have a tight end shake route here. If there's one linebacker over the middle of the field, then I'm definitely going to look to hit this shake route. Love it. Uh, if there's two linebackers over the middle of the field, um, I'm pretty much going to put this tight end on a whip route because, you know, if there's one linebacker, you know, we can definitely get this because we can either throw it early or throw it late once he clears that one linebacker. I just find, especially in team play, if there's two linebackers, it's almost impossible over the middle to throw the shake route. So that's why I like to put him on a whip against two linebackers. Um, because I'm controlling the quarterback myself, I also like to take advantage of the smart routed out route run by X. Um, my teammate is going to control B, and he's going to run to the middle of the field. Hopefully he's going to get open. I just love this play because it gives me a lot of options. I can either throw that smart routed out route, I can throw the shake or the whip, I can throw that corner route manually to RB. And then if my opponent gets open over the middle on the drag, I can throw to him. If he doesn't get open, then he's just going to cut back towards the right sideline and try to get open manually or come back and, and, and allow me to throw the ball. So really like this play. When we get inside the red zone, we want to throw that auto rocket touchdown. So we're going to put either X, RB, or B on fade routes, depending on where our tall players all are. Uh, once our receiver on the fade route, outside the 10 yard line, inside the 20, gets inside the five yard line. So listen to that again. Go back and listen to what I said. I said it right. Once he gets inside the five yard line, like the four or the three, we're gonna hold our trigger and we're gonna press the button of the receiver that we wanna throw it to for the auto rocket catch touchdown. Um, now, what I like to do is because we wanna avoid the blitz, 
And an auto rocket touchdown, it doesn't really matter what other routes are on the field. I'm never going to look at them. So let's say that we have a fade on either side. Well, I've made up my mind pre-snap that I'm going to throw to the left side. Well, I'm going to block the tight end and I'm going to block RB because I know I'm not going to the right side of the field and I want extra protection. So I just block two guys and now I'm going to throw that fade route. If I know that I'm going to throw to the... Um, the opposite side, then I'm just going to block the guy on the opposite side just for that extra protection. Our first audible is halfback wheel out of shotgun doubles weak. We're going to leave this play as is. I'm going to control the running back and my teammate is going to control A. He's going to run that wheel road as is. He's going to call for the ball if he's open. If he's not, he's going to try to make a play and cut back towards the middle of the field. We also love that a computer controlled Tom Brady loves to throw to the Y route on the drag over the middle. When it comes to FL screen, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to control the quarterback. I'm going to put RB on a swing route, and we're going to put B on a streak, and we're just going to throw to that swing route. When it comes to our third audible out of the same formation, KC X spot, we like to play as is. Um, you know, I don't mind this running back route out of the backfield, but I always love to put on a wheel route any time that I possibly can. Um, I'm going to control the running back, of course. Uh, my teammate is going to control Gronkowski. And we're going to leave the play as is. We love that the computer-controlled Tom Brady also likes throwing to this X route. It's kind of like a little dig route. The other, only other thing that we like to do sometimes is just put X on a streak. And the reason we do that is because sometimes it's going to help get that corner route run by Y a little bit open, uh, a little bit better. Our fourth play is KC Bunch Trail. We're also going to leave this play as is, other than the fact that, of course, every single time I want to put myself on a wheel route, uh, I'm going to control the running back out of the backfield. My teammate is going to control RB. He's going to run that route as is. He's going to go to the flats. If he's open, uh, running that route right to the flat right there, he's going to call for the ball. If not, he's going to go over towards the middle of the field, just like the route calls for. And the reason we love this is because we have me out of the backfield. We have him running that very effective route. Of course, we know that the computer, Tom Brady, loves to throw corner routes when they're wide open. And he also likes to throw this drag route over the middle of the field. So we love this play. The only thing is um, computer-controlled Tom Brady doesn't like these comeback routes. So we'll just put him on a streak to clear out some room. The final play is bench. This is our most effective play. Uh, we absolutely love this. This is just all about me, and it's all about the computer-controlled Tom Brady. We're going to put X and B both on streak routes, and we're going to put me on a wheel route out of the backfield. The one thing that we must know about this play is that my teammate is going to control either X or B, and he's just going to run that streak. He is not going to mess with anything. One thing that we need to learn is that team play is much different. So because he has to control somebody, He's going to control that B receiver, and he's really just going to let him be. He's just going to let him run that streak route, and that's it. We're going to hope for me to get open out of the backfield, either in the flats or over the middle, or we're going to hope that Tom Brady is going to hit one of these corner routes. Again, this is one thing. Computer-controlled Tom Brady loves these corner routes. If he's open with them, he's going to throw it. If they're not open, he's not going to bother. The other thing is if they show blitz or if they don't have any safety deep or anything like that, if any of these streak routes get open out of bench, Tom Brady's launching it. I'm going to try to explain as much as I can as quick as possible. Everything's going to be moving really fast. The first play of the game, we're always going to go to ace pair chief tight end spot or halfback belly week. Two plays that we love. Uh, we don't really care what the result is, even though we've gotten touchdowns in the first play of the game. All we're looking for, because we need to make substitutions, is that it um, that 40-second play clock that we're going to get on second down. Because on first down, if we try to get our substitutions in, so many times we've taken a delay a game. So we just run the same play every time on first down. We don't care what happens, just so that we can set up our offense. So we put Jeff Demps in the left slot. Uh, and any other substitutions you want to make is completely fine. And we're always going to come out in empty Y flex, Y shake. And then from here, we can either stay in that or audible down. As you see, I'm quarterback. I click off to the running back and I'm able to run the route. I just press the A button, call for the ball. I'm wide open in the flats. Easy catch. Now, my job as the running back is either to go to the flats if it's open and, you know, call for the ball by pressing A. 
If the flats isn't open, I'm going to do exactly what you saw right there. Cut right over the middle of the field and catch the ball here. Flats is covered. Go right over the middle of the field. Press A. That's my only job as a running back. Flats on a wheel route. Covered. Go over the middle. Flats. Covered. Over the middle. Flats, if it's not covered, catch the ball. It's just the same thing over and over and over. Uh, otherwise, the computer control quarterback is going to make his own reads and throw to computer players. Or if my teammate is open, he's also going to catch the ball. It's like taking candy from a baby with Jeff Demps. You know, it's just absolutely money. Even Jeff Demps here, a play we love to run on third and one or, um, you know, first and goal from the two or the one. Jet sweep out of the Wildcat formation is a really uh, good play. Easy to pick up one or two yards almost every single time. Here, as you can see, I'm controlling the quarterback, just throwing the ball, trying to pick up yards. You know, they don't know if we're being the running back, the quarterback, whatever. You know, we're both calling for the ball. Um, there's a lot of plays here I know I have to cover. I'm just trying to, you know, speak as fast as I can so you understand. Um, here, just wide open in the flats. Call for the ball. Jeff Demps is, is ridiculous. So hard to stop. Um here again look at this computer controlled quarterback thrown to the computer controlled wide receiver on a corner route absolutely money tom brady does it like nobody else here i'm controlling the quarterback i throw a slot auto rocket fade unfortunately it doesn't hang on to the ball but um here i'm being quarterback just trying to make a play on second and ten mixing it up throw to this nice uh, trail route then another play that we love in the red zone, third and six, is I sub the tight end in at the fullback position on the right out of full house, and I just run that route out of the backfield. And here's me throwing FL screen as the quarterback, pick up a nice sell at eight yards, uh, being quarterback again, throwing FL screen, terrible blocking by my teammate. <laughs> That's brutal. Um, you know, here again, Tom Brady. Bench, that is our play, man. Bench is our play. We got those two corner routes. We got the streaks. I'm running out of the backfield. Tom Brady just, he's unbelievable with these plays. Just look at this. Just Brady just throwing, just lobbing those passes right up. They can't be stopped. The Nobody's going to be able to stop those plays. If Tom Brady throws it, it's because it's going to be caught. The only time it's not caught is if he steps like one foot out of bounds. As you can see here, I'm quarterback. I throw that auto rocket to the slot, easy touchdown, FL screen, and eh, didn't really do the greatest there, but as you can see, we're 22 of 25 for almost 300 yards, we're just picking the defense apart, and we're playing really good opponents, I was actually going to use this game for a commentary, because it was, um, it was another team that was in the top 100, and this is what we're doing to them offensively with this scheme, we're just tearing them up, we got... 35 points. I think we score 60 or something like that. Um, here, as you can see, uh, this is another great play. Out of uh, doubles week. 24 of 27 for 279 yards. Just picking them apart. Look at that. I just love being the running back. Flats, middle. There's <laughs> just nothing that they can do. They just There's just nothing that they can do play max coverage defense we run the ball because i can i'm you know i'm switching between being the quarterback and the running back so sometimes we're running the ball sometimes i'm being quarterback throwing deep balls some it's just it is so hard to stop if you just follow everything that i've shown you as far as setups and you play disciplined as we get another auto rocket unfortunately not for a touchdown um just play disciplined don't call for the ball if you're covered and just run these routes exactly like I'm showing. Put wheel routes for the running back, run to the sideline, then run over the middle. Um, have your teammate that's controlling the wide receiver run the same routes that my teammate here is running, controlling the same players. Don't get fancy. You don't want to run into each other. You know, that's the last thing you want is to be running routes in the same area of the field. So you have to be aware of that. As you see here, I make another, I make a terrible block. I don't even know what I'm doing downfield. Try to play max coverage, just run the ball. Nothing that they can do, even though they did score 42 points against us. That was a really tough game, but um, just a really easy, as you can see, 56-44, and they're about to quit. 
We love this scheme. I suggest you try it. Come back, make a comment, let me know how it went for you. I hope you guys enjoyed.